Can someone tell why it's the surface in red rectangle? Okay, here we go. First off, this is 11, this is 9, but this is not necessary too. Do not just do 11 minus 9 and say that's 2. No, it's not like that. It's an unknown. We don't know what it is yet. So we are going to do some variable business. Let's call this part x. So this right here will just be 9 minus x. Yeah, because the whole thing is 9 and this little much is just x. Similarly, because this and that will be the same because it's a rectangle. So that will be x as well. From here to here, the whole thing is 11 meters. That's x already. So this part will be 11 minus x. Good. But now what? Well, we are going to utilize the given information, which is these two areas. And remember, the area of a rectangle, not the red, rectangle is to, to do length times width, right? So we have the length, we need this part. I don't know what it is. I will just call that y. And of course, that will be y as well. Now, we are going to set a nice system of equations. From here, 9 minus x, this length times this width must be this area, which is 30 meters squared. So I will say 9 minus x times y is equal to 30. We ignore the units when we do computations. And all the units agree, so you really don't have to worry about that. Now, do the same thing for this rectangle. This is 11 minus x. And we multiply that with this, which is the same as y. And that's equal to 40 meters squared. Now, we have a system of equations. And you might be thinking that, oh, wow, how do we deal with this, though? You could distribute the y and do that, or divide both sides by y and do that, and then substitution and all that. True that, but I'm going to show you, because they both have this times y and this times y, I'm just going to take this equation, divide it by the second one. And I'm going to make everything clear, so this is going to, it's like this. Divide this by this, and divide this by this. And of course, y cannot be equal to zero, so well, of course, y cannot be equal to zero because otherwise we wouldn't have any area. So dividing by this part is totally legit. Likewise, x cannot be 11 because otherwise we cannot have area either. So this and that, they are not zero. So this is totally okay. And the beauty for doing this is you can cancel the y. Uh -huh. And now you have well, 9 minus x over 11 minus x is equal to that. You can reduce that and then cross multiply. Okay, here we go. 4 times that. 4 times 9 minus x has to be equal to 3 times 11 minus x. And then we pretty much just go from there. Distribute. So 36 minus 4x equals distribute 33 minus 3x. And then add 4x to both sides. And then minus 33 to both sides. Cancel. Very nice. That's 3. And uh, negative 3x plus 4x gives us x. So x is equal to 3. But not too fast. Don't just box this for the answer. Because our goal is to find out this area, right? So how do we find the area? Well, we have x, which is 3 meters already. Now we need a y. Plugging 3 into one of the equations, I'm going to do with the first one. So we get 9 minus 3 times y is equal to 30. That's 6 times y equals 30. And divide both sides by 6, y is equal to 5. So x is equal to 3, and then y is equal to 5 meters. So for this area, it's just going to be 3 times 5. So I'm just going to say the area is 3 meters times 5 meters, which is 15, and you put meters square. But when you say it, it should be square meters. So the answer is 15. Yeah, just like that.